Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, and I do, reach out to me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Behold the coolest watch you will witness today. I know it is my personal favorite. Of all the watches activated on the channel today, this Vacheron Constantin Saltarello Retrograde Minute Jump Hour is the most special. Everything about this late 90s 200-piece limited edition in rose gold exhausts superlatives. It's beautifully sized and proportioned, as the timepiece measures 36 millimeters from side to side by only 8.6 millimeters thick, in spite of the complication, 43.1 millimeters lug to lug with a 90 18 millimeter spacing between the lugs, and the timepiece wears beautifully on any wrist size. I'm not going to assign a lower limit of wrist size for this watch because I truly believe it'll wear well on a wrist of any size and slip underneath any sleeve, no matter how tight. You can see it is a gloriously flat, flush, broad, and elegant watch that's also narrow across the wrist for outstanding fit. Taking a quick look at the hardware and the software, the strap, as you can see, is a brand new Vacheron Constantin factory piece, never worn. It's calfskin on the bottom, it's medium brown alligator leather on the top with a sheer side showing the layers of construction, a monotone stitch, and then it has a lovely medium brown with a bit of a reddish hue and large rectangular scale alligator leather on the top. Now you can see the timepiece features a lovely Maltese cross motif, red gold pin buckle, and the watch has a handsomely sculpted case with these lovely welded lugs that are tiered, uh, almost like a sort of art deco frontispiece to a building or lobby. And then the case itself is wonderfully fluid, long and arcing. You could see that this one has been spared the refinisher's wheel as the individual number engraving on the flank remains deep and distinct. And you could see that it's a handsomely tiered case. Just as the lugs are tiered, so is the bezel with the case band slightly rounded from top to bottom. And then the bezel stepped in from the case flank to create the impression of an even thinner watch. The dial is extravagant and it's real. And by real, I mean that everything that looks like red gold, the hands, the logo, the numerals, the indices, that is red gold. But beyond that, this is real guilloche. There are a lot of stamped guilloche dials, which are not guilloche at all because guilloche means to cut. It means reductive. And that's exactly what you have here, not stamped. But this rayon exploding out from underneath the minute hand, that is carved on a rose lathe by a guilloche, an artisan who just practices this art all day long. So too has the scale for the retrograde minutes been cut and the Vacheron Constantin plinth for the marquee been cut by a guilloche. This is rose lathe hand guilloche. And of course, we have a wonderfully animated dial featuring a jump hour and retrograde, a lovely and amusing complication beguiling and guaranteed to distract you from your latest meeting. It features lovely and evocative first quarter 20th century open sixes and nines, as this is a timepiece designed to evoke the era prior to 1930, the earliest days of the wristwatch. Turn it over and, well, again, I said this watch would exhaust superlatives, and truly it does. This is the Vacheron Constantin caliber 1120-3. It is based on the JLC 920 Abouche that was introduced by JLC in 1967 on commission from and exclusively for the use of Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, and Vacheron Constantin. Today, Vacheron and Audemars Piguet continue to use this movement, and if you wonder where AP uses it, amongst others, it uses this movement in the Royal Oak Jumbo, the most traditional of Royal Oaks. Now, you can see there's a lot going on because this is a hand-finished caliber, but let's talk about specs real quick. It beats way at 19,800 vibrations per hour. The base movement is only 2.4 millimeters thick. It has a unidirectional winding system that energizes a 40-hour power reserve, and it pivots on 38 joules. As you can see, there is a ring that runs all the way around the movement, as the winding rotor has a mass on one side, but it is fully annular, so it is a ring, and it is made of beryllium. It sits on four ruby roller bearings, so it can be sunken flush to the bridges and plates without colliding 
against them in the case that the watch might be shocked or bumped on your wrist. That's how the watch manages to shrink so thin. You can see that the anglage here is mirrored and laid down by hand, finished with peg wood to create that lovely, optically smooth black bevel missing on machine beveled movements. You can see the Cote de Genève here are laid down by abrasive wheel. They are broad and luminous with a gradient from dark on one side to light on the other. The wheels are all satinated as you can see and the screws each one black polished with a chamfered slot and circumference. The Geneva hallmark is present and correct on the balance cock. So this is Ponson de Genève and you can see it on the base plate as well as the balance cock which you'll note, bears a black polished regulator mechanism. The rotor itself has been freehand skeletonized and engraved. You can see the gold mass has been freehand engraved with both patterns and the name of the company and the city of origin. And then the rotor has the Maltese cross cut into it. Everything has been scalloped and cut out by hand with a burin. And there are many and glorious interior angles here with a mirrored anglage on each edge of skeletonized componentry. This 30 meters water resistant is not a sports watch and it's not loomed, but you have an overseas for that, of course. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.